Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This tutorial will teach us three methods to cut holes in Blender. The first method is the Boolean modifier. Press Shift A to add a cube object. In order to see the model better in the viewport, go to the viewport shading menu. Enable the cavity option and switch the cavity type to both. Add a cylinder object to cut the hole. Hit the S key to scale down. S key, then Z key to scale up on the Z axis. Select the cube, click on the modifier tab, and add a boolean modifier. The boolean type will be the difference. So, we'll subtract the cylinder from the cube. Pick the cylinder with the eyedropper tool. Select the cylinder, click on the object properties tab, and scroll down to the viewport display panel. Switch the display type to bounds. As you can see, we have cut a hole in the cube. We can change the hole size interactively. Hit the S key and change the cylinder size. We can also rotate and move the cylinder, so we can change the hole interactively as we wish. The second method is the knife project. Add a circle object. Bring the circle outside. Rotate the circle 90 degrees on the x-axis. Press numpad 1 to switch to the front view. Scale down the circle. Select the cube and hit the tab key to switch to edit mode. Go to the outliner editor, hold down the control key, and select the circle. Go to the mesh menu and choose the knife project. As you can see, we have cut the cube based on the circle. If you want to cut through the cube, numpad 1 to switch back to the front view. Open up the knife project panel at the bottom left and enable the cut through option. Go to the edge menu and choose the bridge edge loop. That's it. The last method is the loop tools. First, we need to enable the loop tools add-on. Go to the edit menu, preferences, and click on the add-on tab. Search for the loop tools and enable the add-on. Select the cube and switch to edit mode. Right-click and subdivide the cube 10 times. Switch to the front view and select these faces. In order to select the other side, go to the Select menu and choose the Mirror Selection. Switch the Mirror Axis to Y and enable the Extend option. Alright. Right-click, Loop Tools, and choose the Circle. As you can see, the faces we have selected become a circle. Go to the Edge menu and choose the Bridge Edge Loop. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.